the most rewarding part of the program for me has been really seeing myself develop as an independent researcher, being able to go from thinking about an experiment, bringing an experiment to my advisor and being excited to try a new experiment, and then actually going to the lab and seeing that experiment work to completion. The department really has anything you could think of as far as research specialties of the faculty members. So I knew that even coming out of undergrad, not really knowing what I would want to specialize in later on, that I would have plenty of options to explore within the department. And we're ranked 13th out of 140 colleges of pharmacy based on NIH research. We have esteemed faculty in medicinal chemistry, drug molecule design, drug discovery, therapeutic targets and molecular mechanisms of disease. We have faculty that do research in cancer, infectious diseases. We have a strong fungal pathogens research group. UDHSC is uh, well reputed for the pharmaceutical sciences research. The faculty is awesome. And more than that, you get to explore a lot of different arenas which are not just research but maybe different societies and uh, different committees. Choosing the right mentor and the right research area is the key thing when you are starting a PhD. In that point, UTHC is the right place for you as it allows the students to rotate in multiple labs and gives an opportunity to choose the right lab based upon your interest. The goal for the PhD training is taking someone who's real uncertain at the beginning of their training and then over the course of their PhD, allowing them to become more of an independent scientist. We're in the top 20 of all the ranked colleges of pharmacy nationwide. As a academic health science center, individuals who come here are gonna be exposed not just to the world of pharmacy, but also medicine, dentistry, allied health, graduate health sciences. One of the advantages I think of coming to UT Health Science Center is the diversity of both professional programs as well as graduate programs on this campus. We have a unique collaboration with St. Jude Children Research Hospital. The students apply to our program, but they do their research at St. Jude. The college has very generous support for graduate students financially. There are a lot of other colleges, they not only not providing the stipend, but also they probably have to pay for tuition and other phase. Typically, with every PhD student, we offer a stipend of $32,000, plus we cover health insurance, and you get tuition waiver. And that's for the duration of your study. There are a number of opportunities for our students to really learn how others are doing their research, how others are doing their presentations, and then pr to present their data to others. We've got a really good seminar series for our students to improve their, their skills. Uh, that includes, you know, sitting in for guest speakers that we bring in from all over the country uh, to talk about their research so they can really figure out what's going on at other institutions, but also that teaches them how to give a presentation, which is a very important and a very difficult skill for, I think, a lot of our students. You don't just do the research, but the research that you're doing in your lab, you get problem-solving skills, the critical thinking skills, but apart from that, to step into the real world, we have like um, career insight programs, symposiums, seminars, that gives you a real world idea and more than that you get to present your own research. We facilitate and encourage students to submit their research work either at poster presentations or at uh, oral presentations at regional and national conferences. We uh, usually support their travel when they go to those meetings. What's been most rewarding about the program to me has been the opportunities I've had to present my research. I find it really rewarding to do an experiment, have it work, and be able to present that to my colleagues and my advisors and all of the, the mentors in the program. The one thing my PI has done is he's always been very encouraging about applying for everything that comes your way. And it's really good to get that experience applying for grants and applying for different types of things. UT Research Foundation um, is really integral to our program as well, so they're really good at helping us learn how to commercialize. So it's really good for me to, you know, interact and learn from people to get an idea of what I want to do after I graduate. I'm an international student. It's very rare that you find places where um, you, are, you feel that you're accepted there. And I think UT is one of those places. Once students go through our program, they graduate from here, they go out in a variety of different environments, either industry, academia, regulatory agencies, where they usually uh, pursue highly successful careers and it's always great to see them flourish in these environments and to have the satisfaction ultimately that we could a little bit influence their pathway forward and their professional growth. For students who want to work at a top institution in terms of research can look at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center College of Pharmacy.